Stay with me. No way. All right, now what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the root solution, zeros, x intercepts, and quadratic function. The first step you always want to do is always factor out your GCF. So I look at every single term, and here again, I have my quadratic, or, um, my quadratic format. Here I have my A term is 2, my B is again 0, and my C is um, going to be negative 32. Now, again, what I can look at this and I can say, well, I could do like my previous problem, add the 32, divide by 2, and take the square root. Or an easier way is just always factor out what they have in common. So I notice that they both have in common a 2. So I factor out a 2, I get x squared minus 16 equals 0. Now, the next thing I notice is this is what we call a special factor, because this is what we call a difference of two squares. My, eight, my first term of my binomial is a square number. And so is my second term of, is a, of my binomial is a square term. So since these are both square numbers, and it's a subtraction, meaning difference, it's the difference of two squares. And whenever you see a difference of two squares, we know that we can write it as x plus 4 times x minus 4. Now, you could also go ahead and do this another way and just say x squared, um, add 16 to both sides equals 16, take the square root. I mean, you can do that exact same way as well. But now, when solving my problem, I get x equals um, negative 4. Actually, let me just go ahead and show it real quick to you guys. Then from here, we're going to use the zero product property, which is x plus 4 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0. Now, to solve for x, you get x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 4. So the main important thing when you're dealing is always factor out anything you can. And the next thing is start looking for special factors. This is a difference of two squares. Look out for that because it, it makes your problem a lot easier to go ahead and factor it through. All right. So that's how you find the root solution, zeros, x-intercepts of a quadratic function.